Hey everybody, Mark Spector Comics, and I'm back. This time with a much overdue comic book haul. So I've compiled a, I don't know, handful of comic books over the last few months or so. I haven't really been buying too much lately, but uh, if you're interested in seeing what I've picked up, stay tuned for that intro. Welcome back. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so when I do put out some content, you get it in a timely fashion. Like I said, um, before we get into the comic book haul, a uh, quick little update the, uh, from the last video. Thanks everybody for sharing, um, you know, po reposting all that good stuff from my last video. The uh, update on the TMNT first printing, which was a third printing, ended up not going through. The sale was canceled. So that is great news for everybody. All right, so um, let's get into the uh, comic book haul. So this is a comic book haul that was probably a couple months worth of uh, collecting. I don't pick up a lot of stuff here and there. It's just, you know, whenever I get a chance, I go to a shop here, you know, there, flea market there and pick up some books. So um, the first was from a comic book shop when I was in Los Angeles. I was there for a weekend. And uh, one of the days, uh, my wife and her family went golfing, so we spent the day in, uh, uh, in different parts of Los Angeles. We went to a park, and then uh, when we came back to our area in Chatsworth, um, went to a comic book shop. So there's a really cool comic book shop in Chatsworth called Spiro's Heroes Comic Book Shop. Definitely worth checking out. Um, didn't make any footage because I had the kids there, so you know it's very tough to move around and get some footage when you're uh, wrestling around kids and trying not to ruin stuff. So uh, ended up uh, talking to the owners. They had a few employees there, super nice. They uh, pointed me to the direction of the books and stuff like that, and even gave me a little tour. So that was cool. Um, ended up getting two books there. Uh, the first book, I do like to get some of these cool DC, especially like Bronze Age titles. So this was uh, a nice one. I think it was asking, yeah, 10 bucks, not too bad, but it is a, a Jack Kirby and uh, Simon creation. And uh, this is um, Black Magic issue number one. So really neat, can't wait to uh, read this title. And uh, so that was uh, my only pickup there. And then when I was cashing out, he asked like a random, you know, Marvel DC question, of my choice and I was like all right uh let's do Marvel so he came up with a random question and uh just pulled from one of the books it was like a question on who Felicia Harding was and uh obviously I answered it correctly and uh he was like well you can go through the um uh the one dollar two dollar up until ten dollar bins and just pick out one book and uh this was the book I ended up getting really cool I do like this uh, it's a nice little bondage cover this is uh, Supergirl issue number 10. Really neat cover. Um, had it listed at uh, $8, which is cool. But um, nice little bondage cover. I like the test tube in there. He's getting, uh, Supergirl's getting thrown into the test tube. It's being heated up. And uh, you get the little mad scientist there. It was actually a pretty good story as well. I did read this one on the way home from uh, my plane ride. So that was neat. Oh uh, well, if you're ever in the Los Angeles uh, area, definitely check out Spiro's Heroes Comic Book Shop. Um, the next place I went to is in Rhode Island. Had a random afternoon when I was trying to um, get my daughter to go to sleep, and then when we woke up, we were in Kingston. We went to a comic shop down there and uh, spent a little bit of time, and I ended up coming out with one comic book. This is... Well, definitely an underground um, title that uh, probably a lot of people are not familiar with from Kitchen Sink Comics back in the 80s and 90s. Uh, this is The Return of Megaton. Um, Megaton Man, issue number one. It's just a short three issue series. Um, I believe they only had number one there. And they had it for $3. They ended up discounting it for $2. But, um, the significance of this, it's actually, it's a fun little spoof that I have in the, uh, in, in the uh, local community with a couple of guys. Uh, but my buddy Tony is a big Yarn Man fan and he does not have the first appearance of Yarn Man, which is in this book. <laughs> we all have, a bunch of us have Yarn Man issue number one, but uh, he did not have this. This is, uh, the cover is done by Simpson 
And uh, he met Simpson not too long ago and he got the uh, his Yarn Man book signed by him. Uh, so that is actually going to go off to Tony. <laughs> um, I did go to another comic book shop as I was finishing up my uh, contract. There's one up in uh, Burlington, Massachusetts, which was actually part of the uh, Three Men in the Basement uh, comic book crawl. The most recent one in Massachusetts it was actually Chinmo's um, home uh, comic book shop. And just had a little bit of time one, one evening after work and wanted to see what was new for new comic book day. And I did pick up Blood Hunt issue number one. So yeah, I do pick up some new comics from here to there and uh, read them. Uh, this was actually, you know, starting a big tie-in event that's Marvel's um, going to be doing for that probably the next couple of months through all sorts of different titles. Uh, I believe this is the one that starts it all. This was actually it's written by Jed McKay, which was um, the writer from the most recent Moon Knight uh, title. And Pepe Larraz did some great work during the uh, previous Black Panther uh, volume. Really good artwork. Uh, so this was actually really good. Um, the writing was decent. The artwork inside was uh, fantastic. So uh, I'm going to have to probably try to pick up some of the other ones here and there. Uh, and just to uh, to see how the tie-in goes. And you can see some of the uh, the artwork is actually pretty, pretty solid. So uh, definitely uh, worth picking up if you're interested in just reading something new. Next place I went to, this is probably now two weekends ago. I showed some of the guys, uh, some of the pickups. I believe I showed Carlos and um, uh, one other person, the pickups from uh, the flea market. He was actually there the same day. We just didn't meet up at the same time. I was there probably around, I don't know, 6.30 from there to like right around eight o'clock. This is at the uh, Grafton flea market in uh, Grafton, Massachusetts. Um, the flea market just opened up recently. Usually I get to see my buddy uh, Rayman there as well. So shout out to him. But uh, ended up um, walking around, didn't take any footage. Uh, I have shown that place before. It's a really cool flea market, all, um, open on the weekends. But um, didn't find anything really outside. There weren't a lot. There was one vendor that had a ton of comic books in, um, in milk crates and uh, it almost felt like uh, you could tell he was trying to like either he bought like a big storage unit or what the case was. He was like, just take them all, take them all, give me a price. But there was a lot of filler, a lot of random 90s and 80s um, uh, titles. Nothing really I was looking for. A few, a couple of Silver Age stuff, nothing, nothing crazy. But um, but I just didn't want to come home with like, you know, eight to ten milk crates worth of comic books. I think my wife would have killed me. So I'm trying to minimize my pickups, downsize the collection, not, uh, not come home with like five, 600 comic books. Um, so I went inside and there was a new vendor there that I had not seen before because uh, sometimes I don't have time to go inside. And um, he had a lot of vintage comic books like uh, Silver Age, Golden Age, some modern books, um, cool keys and stuff like that. So I ended up picking up three books. Um, I believe the three books I paid Twenty dollars total, so not too bad. Um, picked up a nice gold. Like I've been searching for some more Golden Age Christmas books, uh, whether it's DC, Marvel, not Marvel, Timely, and uh, just you know random um, uh, publishers like Fawcett and Avon, whatever. And uh, I ended up finding this book there for I guess like I said three three books for twenty bucks. And uh, the first one, this is not one you see too often. This is um, Big Shot. I do like this title. This title has quite a bit of um, seasonal comic books. What I mean seasonal, I mean like Halloween, um, Christmas, you know, uh, Easter, stuff like that. They get Thanksgiving. They have some cool uh, seasonal books in this title. So this one is um, Big Shot 96. Um, really cool Santa cover. There are several uh, really neat Christmas covers in this title. This one's tough to find. Um, not like extremely tough, but not one you see too often. I believe this came out in 1948, December of 48. So it's a true, you know, Christmas cover because they often print uh, Christmas covers. You'll see some sometimes in November or January, but you know, this one was actually published in December 
not not that it really matters, but but uh, really need to find that. Um, and I'm sure there's some cool t uh, stories in there, so I'm gonna read that one. And uh, I saw this one in one of the back issues, not the best condition, but uh, probably mid grade. And I showed him, I was like, oh, you got an Aliens number one. And I've previously found an Aliens number one at um, the uh, Grafton Flea Market. So I opened it up. He was like, this is a first print. So I had to make sure because it's really tough to know offhand unless you open it up. And the easiest way to tell on this book is if you open up the, um, uh, the Indicia, the first page, you'll see it there. It'll actually say the printing. If it's first print, it won't say anything, but actually says third printing. So uh, I got a third printing, pretty neat. He ended up just basically uh, throwing this book in for free because it wasn't a first print. So that was neat. And then the other book I picked up, I had not uh, picked this book up before. A really cool title from the 80s. Uh, Dave Cockrum, Al, Al Milgram, Uncle Al as a few of us will say, sorry, I said 80s, late 70s, this is from 1978, uh, some Bronze Age goodness. And uh, this is the Micronauts issue number one. So that was pretty cool to pick that up. So that from the flea market hall was 20 bucks. And then I went to one more place the other day. I was tipped off by my buddy, um, my buddy John. And one of the uh, guys I talk to frequently locally. And he was like, if you're in the Fall River area, go check out this place. It's in like a warehouse. Uh, e Evie's, I believe is pronounced. And uh, it's in Fall River. I was there picking up a suit. So I was gonna be there anyways. So I um, picked up the suit and I had just a little bit of time before I had to go pick up my kids. And, um, you know, went there. You would not know that there's a comic book shop there. Um, not advertised. It's kind of like you just got to know it's there unless you got a card from the person. He um, does sell at the uh, Raynham Flea Market as well. So it's Evie's Comics and Collectibles. The, uh, the guy I spoke to there was super nice. Um, he has not just comic books, you know, sports cards, uh, toys, collectibles, and sports memorabilia. So um, he, I told him I was there primarily for uh, comic books. So I walked in, I saw a bunch of slab books in there. I wanted to take some footage for you guys, but he did not allow me. He was like, oh, I don't, I don't, you know, don't feel comfortable. So that's fine. That's why it's always important to ask before you go in there. Some people just don't feel comfortable. So um, I couldn't show you the place. It's really neat though, nice spot. So I picked up two, three, five books, five books. He ended up uh, asking 20 bucks for everything. I was like, cool. So first book I picked up, um, DC, got some action comics. It's a Silver Age, 12 center, issue number 304. Can't wait to uh, read this title, I mean this issue. It's um, first appearance of the Black Flame, Zora V, Lan, Orku of Gone, Orku of Gorn and uh, Boskin of Cross. <laughs> Basically, these guys here in the front. I don't know if these guys are their first appearance, but um, but the first one is the, the Black Flame is the first appearance in there. And it talks about the uh, Interplanetary uh, Olympics. So um, Superman competes in the Olympics with some other interplanetary, you know, strong people. So it uh, should be a pretty good read. I'm excited for that one. <coughs> Probably out of, out of all the issues I picked up. This one I thought was just hilarious. Um, one of those like, you know, 90s goodness books from, uh, this is from Malibu Comics. This is Tom Mason's Dinosaurs for Hire, issue number one. Picked this up because my son loves dinosaurs. We just thought it was a funny cover, but <laughs> it's definitely not a kid appropriate um, comic book. Once I opened it up, definitely not, not kid appropriate. So uh, don't, don't go off giving your, your kids this book if you have it. Um, but uh, pretty, pretty uh, cool cover art by uh, Remmer. This was done in 92 and uh, basically it's a dollar book. So uh, I thought that was pretty neat. Next uh, book I picked up was um, Firestorm, The Nuclear Man, issue number one. 
had it listed for 15 bucks, but like I said, all of these books were 20. Uh, first appearance of Firestorm, Dance in Black. So uh, really cool. Um, I, li I like picking up these, uh, you know, nuclear related, you know, atomic bomb, you know, characters. So Nuclear Man, pretty cool. Interested in reading that one as well. And then the last two, just some Captain America, some Copper Age books. This is uh, Captain America Comics, number 237. Just like the war cover, thought that was pretty neat. It's like a dollar book. And then the last book was um, Captain America, number 379. Just another cool cover. I do like how that tray dress is kind of like botched up there. Those, I, I think it's pretty fun when they m mess around with the uh, tray dresses like they do here in this title. So that was it. That's my big haul. Uh, compiling over the last couple of months, different places I've gone to. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoy that. Let me know if you have any of these books, if you like them. If you, uh, if you read Blood Hunt, pretty good story. Uh, but until next time, Mark Spectre Comics, out.